Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, today's beer should be a treat. I've had a couple of my subscribers ask if I've had this. I have not had it out of the can, but I have had the old Chubb Nitro Scotch Ale on draft uh, once before. So, found it very tasty. Uh, actually, I found the old Chubb uh, Scotch Ale, just the regular version, a fairly tasty beer. I don't pick it up too often, it's not my style, but it is a nice pleasure and a nice change. To drink one of these occasionally so I've seen they had this one in a can the last time I was at the beer store so I decided to pick one of them up and and review the nitro version of this and this is from Oscar Blues Brewery and they're out of uh, Longmont Colorado but they have a brewery in North Carolina that they're brewing some beers for us here on the East Coast I don't know whether this one was done down there or out in Colorado uh, let's see, it's got Colorado listed here, so this one may have, uh, may have actually come from there. And on the bottom it says Candon 062014, so this was done on June 20th of 2014. And right underneath that it says Life After Chubb. So, uh, I like, uh, I will say everything that I've had for them. Dale's Pale Ale, Mama's Little Yellow Peels. Deviant Dales, 1050, I mean they, they are a quality brewery. Uh, I don't think I've had a bad beer from these guys. I, I really don't. And they put everything in cans and have been canning beer ever since I can remember. I mean I, I don't know if they've ever put anything in a bottle. Everything has been in a can as far as I know. So Some of y'all might have a little more information on that than I do, but I think they're one of the original can breweries that actually started out putting everything in their can, in the cans. So, very nice. Um, uh, the more I have canned uh, craft beer, the more I like it. Uh, it's a win-win. You can pack it in, pack it out. There's no glass breakage. It keeps the light off of it. It doesn't skunk up. Uh, and like I told you, uh, I think uh, the other day, uh, we can recycle the aluminum. Uh, you can take the smash cans and, and turn them in for, for money. Whereas in here in Virginia, uh, we don't have a deposit on glass bottles like some of the other states. So uh, if you're buying glass bottles, they go into the trash. Now you can recycle those and put them in a bin or drop them off somewhere, but you don't get any money out of it. So that's the way it is. Let's get on with this one, guys. Uh, uh, this is a fairly big beer coming in at 8% ABV. I don't have the IBUs listed here on either site. And it's not on the can, I don't think. 8% on the can. And no, uh, I don't see it written on here. But this is a big can. This is a 16-ouncer. Definitely enough to share if you chose to. Or you can drink it by yourself. Uh, let's get on with this. The uh, food products for this, uh, cheese, buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, meat, smoked meat, and salmon. I will add grilled meat to that. It's uh, uh, burgers, chops, steaks, uh, chicken, just about uh, everything goes with this beer. Just remember it's an 8 percenter. So. And this is a big can too, 16 percent. It enough to get your buzz going on anyway. The, the glass bar is a pint becker, the nonic tumbler, the snifter, the tool. Decided to bring out the double glass for this since it was 8%. And uh, it says can be cellar for long periods under the proper conditions. So you can probably keep this for a while if you chose to. Now, most of the nitro beers I've had have been stouts or, or, or something in the dark beer category. And you basically what you do is you turn them upside down and you get that little volcano effect 
in there from the beer from a nitro can or, or on tap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that with this one, so uh, I don't want it to foam out all over the place by pouring it too aggressive. So let's see what happens. Ah, did you hear that? That little nitrogen ball in there? Let's do it. Straight down the center. Yeah, you know, hold it up right where you can see what's going on. It's doing that little volcano effect on the glass there. Very, very nice. So evidently it has. Well, I don't hear any ball or anything shaking around in there, so but it's in there, I see it, it's attached to the bottom of the can. It's not floating around. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good looking beer. Kind of dark. Reminds me of a porter. It's got a deep copper tone color. It's not black. It's almost between a copper tone and a ruby red. I can barely see the light through it. I can't see the bulb, but just a little bit of light shining through it. And with that aggressive pour, we got about a finger and a half, and we're down to a little less than a finger of head. Very creamy looking head on that beer. Wonderful looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Oh man, it smells so good. I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting a hint of some smoky malt. got a nice sweet smell to it. Roasted malt, little toffee or caramel in there. But the chocolate in the uh, smoky malt is what I'm getting more of. Well, and I thought I read you the commercial description on this one. So let's go back. And the commercial description on this. Old Chubb is a Scottish style ale brewed with copious amounts of crystal and chocolate malts and a dash of beechwood smoke malt. While Dale's Pale Ale, the best tasting canned beer I've ever had according to many brewers and beer experts, is a showcase of both hops and pale malts. Old Pale Malts, Old Chubb is a celebration of malts. The cola colored beer, and I really don't, I can see why they would think it's cola colored, but it's got more of a I don't know. It's got more of a brownish reddish hue. Yeah, I guess you could say it's cola colored. Uh, I don't drink a lot of cola. As a matter of fact, I hardly drink any at all. Uh, features a dense tawny head, a creamy mouthfeel, and flavors of caramel, chocolate, and lightly roasted malt. Complex and rich. It finishes with a whisper of smokiness and calls to mind a fine single malt scotch. Old Chubb weighs in at 8% alcohol by volume. Well, rate beer doesn't have a, a doesn't differentiate between just the regular old chub or the nitro version of this but beer advocate does so uh, don't know what's up with that they when I typed in the nitro version of it it said it was an alias for this well they're a little bit different with, in my opinion from the nitro to the regular it should be a little more creamier and of course you've seen that little volcano effect on it it should be a little creamier and a little smoother and a little nicer mouthfeel to me. But let's find out. Cheers, everybody. That is delicious, guys. I mean, if you're into the Scotch Ales, we heavies, the nitro version of this is so creamy and smooth. I'm not getting any of the 8%. The smoke malt is there. The chocolate malt is there. A little toffee, a little caramel, like I said, on the nose. This one could definitely get you in trouble. There is no evidence whatsoever of being an 8% beer. If you were drinking this on tap and did not know, you could drink three, four, five, six of these and then you're going to be drunk.
the hops balance the sweetness of this beer perfectly. It is not overly sweet. It is perfect. This, to me, would be the ideal Scotch wheat heavy beer. Old Chub Nitro. Mm. And look at the lacing on the glass. Wow. I thought the wee heavy version of the regular Old Chub, I mean the uh, Old Chub regular, was a, was a great beer. But I believe the Nitro version has topped it just a little bit. Wow, that is so smooth and easy drinking. That's a damn tasty beer, guys. We'll eliminate the other half, have a sip or two before I sit here and drink it all in front of you. We'll come back and do the final grade and chug on this one. We're damn impressed so far. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left. I wouldn't hesitate to say this is probably the best Scotch Ale slash Wee Heavy that I've ever had. Typically not my style of beer, but this is very, very tasty. Final toast. I don't believe it could be any smoother than what this is for an 8%er. Now that it's warmed up, been sipping on it probably about 30 minutes or so. The chocolate chocolateiness, the smokiness, it's not overly smoky. It's not like a smoke porter or, or something that's got a real heavy smoky taste. It's a little on the subtle side, but you can it's definitely there. This is better than the regular version of Old Chub, in my opinion. I mean, I'm right on the fence between a 9 and a 10. I don't know how you could improve this beer any at all. Uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it to 10. Uh, I'm going, I was on the fence between a 9 and a 10, but I actually believe this is the best Scotch Ale Wee Heavy that I've ever had. It is that tasty. I actually think I enjoyed the can version a little bit better than the tap version, which usually I'm the other way around. But this 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 is awesome. To be able to have this at home and in the can and be a nitro version of it, it's awesome. It's very, very delicious, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to 10. Got the date on the bottom of the can, nitro version. Uh, Got the ABV on the can. I like to have the IBUs, but it's it's not listed anywhere, so I, I really don't know what the it may be on the website. It didn't go there, but it's not on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate, so it's basically irrelevant. Because uh, if I was to take a wild guess and, and guess the IBUs on this, I would say it's probably between 30 and 40. It's not bitter whatsoever. It's a little on the sweeter side, not overly sweet like a barley wine, but very very tasty beer. I will probably be picking up more of this. It's very, very tasty, guys. It's definitely, uh, definitely worth picking up. If you're into the wee heavy Scotch ales, uh, this is the one you need to try. It definitely is. So, with that being said, let's go over and see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate, like I said earlier, uh, has the nitro version separated from the regular version. And they say 88, which is in the very good range. I could not disagree more. It is way better than an 88. And over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 97 overall and 97 in the style. If I was putting a numeric rating on this, it would be a 99 or 100, guys. It's that good. It's, uh, like I said, probably the best uh, the best uh, Scotch Ale we heavy that I've probably ever had. So I could have very easily gave it a 9, but I think it deserves a 10. It's, it's that tasty. So with that being said, if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. And guys, we're going to take that walk tomorrow and see what's in the fridge. See you then.